So we are back after this short break and today we are talking with Anna Kaplan, a candidate from District 7, New York uh, Senate State. And uh, she was telling about the contribution she has already given and uh, even she is telling about what kind of contribution she will give when she will get elected from District 7. And we, had a, we have a question for Paid Family Leave Act, even she has contributed for that act and what kind of uh, vision she has for gender discrimination. Let's talk more on this. So we w I think we were one of the first municipality that passed the paid family leave because we as the town elected officials, we've heard from our residents how important this is. We have a lot of young people who come in mm -hmm. and they can't afford not to, to go and not do with a paycheck. Mm -hmm. They have a child, a newborn that the mother wants to stay home for a little period. Correct. Or they have an elder that they want to care for. Correct. Paid family leaves allows them to do that. Mm -hmm. And um, that has been one of my biggest initiative, and we've passed that unanimously on town board, mm -hmm. which is a great thing. Um, hoping that it will pass everywhere. Because again, it's something that affects everybody's Correct. daily life. Correct. Um, Tobacco 21, I think it's very important that we send a message to our young adults that they shouldn't try these. Smoking is hazardous to their life. Mm. And if they don't start it, the longer they wait, the less likely they would be addict. Correct. And um, again, our goal always have been to do whatever we can for our next generations. Mm -hmm. We're very, very big on environment and how we try to take care of our communities. Mm -hmm. And um, those are some of the big issues that I would love to actually expand on New York State mm -hmm. and have them as legislation throughout the state and not just the town of North Hempstead. So uh, what kind of views you have for gender discrimination when we talk about gender discrimination? Uh, we pass gender um, in town level. As I see it, it's really hard. These are the most vulnerable members of our community. Mm -hmm. And it's just inhumane for people to pick on them or to discriminate against them. Mm. And as elected, as their voice, we have to stand up for that. And we have to make sure that legislation passes in New York so State. So how you will stand with them? We will pass the gender regulation okay. Okay. in legislation. Whereas again, my opponent okay. has been blocking it okay. and has not. Why she's blocking it? Um, my opponent is a Republican. Hmm. She's also on the line for the conservative uh, line. Hmm. And if he, she wants to be part of the conservative line and get their support, mm -hmm. they will not have her bring any kind of legislation close to this, okay. to the Senate floor for okay. a vote. Uh, so you have talked earlier about the daily, uh, you know, on daily basis effects. So as an individual, as a woman, what kind of effects or what kind of uh, problem you have faced and you will try to resolve that problem when you will get elected? Well, I can again tell you, um, I'm blessed. I'm coming at a time after women's suffrage time, mm. you know, where women got the right to vote. Mm. That was a very big deal. A lot of people really, a lot of women mm. suffered and gave a lot out of themselves to be able to ensure that for generations to come. Mm -hmm. I'm the beneficiary. Mm. There were other electeds mm. who sort of are my mentors mm. and because of them, I feel that I could do this. Mm. And I think now it's up on me, mm. this burden for me to carry and make sure women's rights are carried through. Okay. Okay. Our young daughters are confident mm -hmm. to go out and do whatever that they dream, whatever that their wishes are. Mm -hmm. To know the message is basically to work hard mm. and make every wish come true. Correct. Because you can do that in this country. Even we have listened, Barack Obama is also coming for the campaigning. I can tell you I'm really honored and really humbled mm -hmm. and appreciative. President Obama endorsed my campaign a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. the only Senate seat mm -hmm. throughout New York State mm -hmm. that he has endorsed. Okay. It is a very big deal. Mm -hmm. and. And when we talk about, uh, even we have a data of 23.75%, uh, they are the senior citizen uh, in your district. Yes. So uh, what kind of contribution are you going to give to them? 
We do a big way hmm. of taking care of our seniors in the town of North Hempstead. Hmm. We have a lot of different programs for them hmm. where we actually engage them. Hmm. We just finished a program called Monday Fun Day, hmm. which we invite them to come to the beach and we okay. have a whole program for okay. them. Uh, going forward in fall, we have a lot of events for them. There is a South Asian community in Roslyn called Milan Group. Mm -hmm. um, they have their own program for themselves that we welcome very much. Mm. And uh, we also have 311 call center where people can call up. Mm. And we have multi-language operators mm. that would help them and our seniors if they need to go food shopping, if they okay. need to go see a physician. We have all kinds of assistance on the project independence in town of North Hempstead. It's a model that's being really viewed all over the U.S. and emulated. Uh, so what kind of positions you can, uh, you are, you know, you can see right now for the refugees and for the, you know, uh, uh, non-immigrants, those who are waiting for their asylums and for their papers. So what kind of things you have for them in your mind? As an immigrant who's living our American dream. Mm -hmm. I would love to be able to work on that. Mm. This country is a country of immigrants. Mm. It's a country of hope for people mm. to come here and work hard mm. and give back in their own way. Mm. You know, and it is shame to see that number of immigrants allowance is being reduced here. Mm. We immigrants bring a very different um, outlook Correct. different way of doing things Correct. and our traditions and our ethnicities really add to the the flavor of this country okay we're for most part very hard workers mm. you know and we add to this country in a very big way correct so she told about uh, for the senior citizens that she will uh, run fun and uh, on sun because it's gonna be sun <laughs> and it will be a sunday uh, but we will just you know um, uh, we will tell you you can tell to your viewers or you can tell to your voters that you are not available only on sunday you are available every time i am absolutely just a phone call away and i can't stress to all of your viewers we are in a very critical time please register please vote i can tell you i would love to have your vote and be your voice i hope that you can see me in yourself representing you in Albany. I hope you can come and support me November 6th for New York State Senate District 7. It is really important to go out and vote in this midterm election. So Anna, what do you think? What are the uh, highlight points coming for your district and they should be get resolved when you get elected? Well, right now I think um, 2017 Tax Act that mm -hmm. came from federal government mm -hmm. is going to have a very big impact on this community. Mm. These are communities that with very high taxes, not just income taxes and federal taxes, but also real estate taxes mm -hmm. that's going to really affect them. Mm -hmm. I would like to go to Albany and be a voice and find solutions where we can actually mm -hmm. try to do something about this. Long Island and New York mm -hmm. is one of the highest taxpayers throughout this country. Correct. And this SALT uh, tax bill that's really going to affect us all, mm -hmm. we need to find another way. Because okay. as, is, as it is... So you're looking for the amendments? I am. I'm okay. looking to see what we could do with the governor okay. to make a change. Okay. And um, we as New Yorkers sent $48 billion mm -hmm. to Washington. Okay. We need to get more of that money back here okay. and make investments in our communities, create jobs, more affordable housing okay. so that our communities can grow. So any, uh, anything else you want to appeal for our viewers or for your voters? And on top of that, uh, I would like to know about the business entrepreneurs, what kind of contribution you're going to give when you get, when you get, when you get elected as in uh, Senate for the business entrepreneurs? I'm more than happy to look into any types of grants that we can do to bring more money back here, to make more investments here, okay. so that we could have our next generation here and really make Long Island grow, New York grow. Have, I know we can all live very harmoniously together. And my goal is for everyone to feel safe in their place of work, and where they live, and 
also a safe place for our children to go to school. Mm -hmm. You know, not to be worried about guns and having another massacre. Correct. Those are really my big issues that I would like to work in New York State Senate in Albany for all of my constituents. I invite you to please go and check my website. It's Anna for Anna Kaplan for New York State Senate. Mm -hmm. um, please like us on Facebook, on Twitter, and uh, become a member so you can get to know what I'm doing throughout this mm -hmm. um, time of campaign till November 6th. And I really do hope you can come out and support me on November 6th. We'll see and we we'll even uh, say to our viewers that Anna Kaplan uh, she has told about herself and her contributions for the District 7 and as a politician when she was working for the municipal as well and now she is really uh, aggressive to do things for her That's district right. on ground level and uh, she's appealing that you should come out for the vote uh, Anna Kaplan your candidate and can do the things for you on ground level not like the other politicians who come before the you know elections and say this and this and then the things get uh, doesn't get implemented on the ground level but on just tv she is giving promise to us and to our viewers that uh, the things she has raised here on our channel she will implement on ground level and she will work hard for district 7 as she is happy to serve you more and more and more better thank you very much with anna kaplan harkirat singh aluwalia for just tv